Jordy gonna be doing a haunted house build battle. But little does Jordy know I'm actually gonna be using cheats to make the scariest haunted house in Minecraft. Hey, Jordy. Hey, Tor. Whoever builds the scarier haunted house wins today's challenge. But we only have 15 minutes to complete our build, so good luck. I don't need luck when I'm gonna win. So good luck to you. Uh, yeah, I highly doubt that, Jordy. You're definitely gonna need luck. But uh, anyways, let's get going. So now it's time to build our front entrance. And for our front entrance, I actually wanna make a jump scare front entrance. So what we need to do that is actually come right here and break a hole for our door. Then we can go ahead and put a door on here. And uh, I think a dark oak door would look super cool on this haunted house so we can put that right there just like that now we can go inside and we actually need to make a little bit of a hallway and to make this hallway extra creepy we're actually gonna make it out of some black concrete just like this so now that we have our black hallway here what we can actually do is get started on the jump scare prank and to do a jump scare prank what we actually need to do is come down here and place ourselves a sticky piston just like this then the next thing we need to do is put a slab on the top and then an armor stand on there. And then we can put a creeper head on this armor stand. So we can place a composter right there. Then go ahead and put a sticky piston in. And now we just need a button to push that sticky piston just like that. So that will push that down there. And we want to make sure you can't see the creeper head here. So what we can do is actually fill this composter with some flowers. So now you can't actually see the creeper head. That's so perfect. And then the very last step is to actually wire some redstone over the piston. Then put a pressure plate on top. So Jordy's gonna enter our house. All he's gonna see is a composter and a pressure plate and be super confused. But then if he steps on it, it's gonna push up the creeper head, jump scaring Jordy. Yeah, this jump scare is literally gonna be so funny. If you wanna see Jordy get scared by this, make sure to watch to the end of the video. And now that we have our jump scare entrance set up, what we can actually do is make it so Jordy can actually get into our base. And the way that Jordy's actually gonna get into our base is through this little secret tunnel we're gonna make down in this corner. So what we need to do is actually shrink ourselves down really small, just like this. And yeah, that's perfect. Now I'm so tiny. Look how cute I am. And what we can do is come all the way over here and use these stairs to make a little entranceway that you can only get through if you're super small. And then let's extend this little entranceway all the way around the build a little bit to make a long hallway that Jordy's gonna need to walk through. And then we can put the exit just right here, just like that. And then what we can do next to make this little hallway a lot scarier is build up some blocks just like this. Then we can actually spot a bunch of cockroaches in here just like this because cockroaches are so creepy and scary. And then using this shrinking device, what we can do is actually make all of these cockroaches super small so that they fit in the tunnel. Then what we need to do is break that block right there so they actually end up in the tunnel. And then we need to push them through so that we can put this block back. All right, come on, little guys. I'm going to need you to move, please. Come on, get out of the way. And now, just like that, we have these super creepy cockroaches in this little hallway. Yeah, that should totally scare Jordy while he's climbing through here. And what's even better is a bunch of the cockroaches even managed to escape, so there's a bunch roaming the haunted house. But after Jordy makes it out of this little tunnel and he comes out here, this actually looks more ugly than scary, so let's go ahead and clean it up and make it a little bit scarier. And the very first thing we can actually do is slash replace air spruce planks to cover up all of this. Then we can break through here just like that. Then continue our tunnel tunnel through so now our tunnel connects all the way through just like that and then when Jordy comes out the other side it just looks like a normal room and I want to make this room look super scary so let's go ahead and start adding some stuff to do that and the very first thing we can actually do to make this room super scary is add a bunch of cobwebs to it just like that because cobwebs are so scary so we can put some cobwebs in each corner just like that and already this looks so much spookier and in this room I actually want to make a find the right button challenge so to do that what we can do is start playing Placing a bunch of buttons all over the walls just like that. So what Jordy's gonna have to do is find the right button, which is gonna open a door to take him to the next level. So now we have a bunch of buttons in this room, which is perfect. So what we can do next is actually grab ourselves a skull just like that and some redstone. And what I'm gonna do is next to the correct button that's gonna get Jordy out of here, put this skeleton as a way to signify what button is the correct button. And the correct button's actually gonna be this one right here. So what we can do is put this skeleton skull and a little bit of really creepy blood just like that so that Jordy knows that this is the right button. And now all we need to do to make this button take you to the next level is break through here just like this. Then we can put a sticky piston right here just like that. Then on the back of this block put a redstone torch and a redstone dust right there so now this fills the hole. But if Jordy presses this button here it's gonna open the hole for a couple seconds so Jordy can sneak through to the next level. And now to make the next level all we need to do is do the command slash set air just like this to make a giant room just like that which is 
is gonna be used for our next stage. But actually, before we build the next stage, I want to mess with Jordy, and I've got the perfect plan to do that. And what I can actually do to mess with Jordy is morph myself into this super adorable pig. And what's gonna happen is if I morph myself into this super cute pig, Jordy's totally gonna let me into his base so I can easily mess with him. So let's head on over to Jordy's build. So all we need to do is turn this corner to get over to Jordy's side, but I need to be super careful to make sure I act like a pig so that Jordy thinks we're really a pig. What the heck? Oh my gosh, what the heck is that? Did Jordy build his haunted house out of dirt that looks so funny and is that a lantern maze at the front this is so weird uh, but let's head on over and see if jordy will let us into his build so uh, oh my gosh and there's jordy right there okay this is literally perfect here goes nothing and uh, oink 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 wait is that a pig oh my gosh you are so cute uh oink 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 piggy you gotta come over here come on uh come inside and i'll find you some food oink oink Oh my gosh, that was literally perfect. Jordy totally just let us into his build, no problem. And he ran off to go find us some food, which means we could super quickly mess with him. And I've got the perfect plan to mess with Jordy. What I can actually do is grab a pig spot egg just like that. And now what he can do is actually spawn in some more pigs because what's gonna happen is Jordy's gonna see the pigs and think they're so adorable and not kill them. But if Jordy has adorable pigs in his build, it's gonna make it way less scary. So let's go ahead and spawn in some baby pigs pigs just like that and yeah there's no way jordy ever kills a baby pig so that's perfect but uh, i do need the mama to get out of the way so i'm sorry bro you gotta die oh my gosh okay well now all these baby pigs are here and this is gonna make jordy's build so much less scary all right piggy i got you some food and oh my gosh how did all these pigs get here the pig I let into my base must have been pregnant because there's so many baby pigs here. Oink, oink. I definitely did not bring enough food. So let me go back and get some more. <gasps> Oh my gosh, that was so funny. Jordy thought that I'm a real pig and I was pregnant and gave birth to all these baby pigs. And now he left again to go get these pigs some more food, which is literally perfect because now we can easily escape. So let's just head through here to head back to my side. All right, piggies, I brought you some golden carrots. And wait a minute, where did your mom go? Uh... Whatever, I guess it doesn't matter because I got some really cute pigs. But wait a minute, because these pigs are so cute, they're gonna make my haunted house way less scary. Uh, but actually, I have the perfect thing to fix this. If I use this haunted potion, then I could turn these pigs into mutated pigs. And that will help make my haunted mansion way scarier. So here goes nothing. Oh my gosh, look how scary these pigs are now. Yeah, that's definitely gonna make my build way better. And what are those spider pigs doing up there that's definitely gonna throw tor off guard so now that we're back on my side what we can do is get started on the next stage and in this room right here what we're gonna build is actually a super creepy corn maze but uh minecraft doesn't actually have corn in it so uh for a corn maze we're actually gonna use these hay bales so what's gonna happen is joy's gonna fall all the way down here through this little glass tunnel and get started in our corn maze and what Joy's not gonna realize is that in this corn maze, there's gonna be a bunch of secret traps. So what we're gonna do is just build up this corn maze just like this. And then after we've built our corn maze, I'll go in and add the different traps. And not only is there going to be traps in this corn maze, but for Jory to escape, there's actually gonna be a keypad door. And if Jory's gonna wanna know the passcode to get through the keypad door, he's gonna have to find different signs in the maze that'll tell him what the passcode is. So then all we need to do is place a couple more hay blocks just like that. And the hay for our corn maze is actually complete. So we can make a little exit right here just like that and that looks so awesome Yeah, this space is gonna be so hard for Jordy to maneuver through and now what we can actually do is go in and add our super scary Sentry turns to different parts of this maze so we can put one right there And let's make sure it's set to aggressive so that it actually shoots at Jordy and uh, let's go ahead and put another one right here And then uh, maybe we could put one like uh, right here Yeah, that should be good and we can put another one right here just like that and then maybe we put one right next to the exit So Jordy's gonna have to run super fast to get past it just like that and maybe one last one in this corner right here so now what we can do is actually go ahead and put our keypad door right here just like that then we can put a super hard passcode on this door something like a one two three four and now we just need to go put some signs throughout this corn maze so that Jordy actually knows what the code is to get out. So what we can do is on this sign right here put the number 1000 
Then on this side right here, we can put the number 200. Then all the way right here, we can put on this sign the number 30. And then very lastly, we can put on this sign the number four. So what's gonna happen is if Jordy adds all the numbers from these signs, it's gonna create the number 1,234, which is actually the code for this door. And what we can do to finish off my cord maze is to build a super scary scarecrow. And to do that, what we need to do is place a fence just like that, then a hay barrel, and put some levers on each side for the arms. Then on the very top, put a super scary jack-o'-lantern just like that. And now our cord maze should be complete. But now, before we build the last level of my haunted house, I actually want to mess with Jordy one last time. And to mess with Jordy, I have the perfect plan. And this time to mess with Jordy, I'm actually not going to change into anything, but instead set up a trap to trap Jordy so I can mess with him. So what we can actually do is come right here to the middle of our wall and start breaking a hole for our trap. And this trap is actually a super simple trap. All I need to do is grab this cage trap right here, then go ahead and grab some ghost blocks. Then what I can do is place the cage trap right here just like that. And then now I can put some ghost blocks on top just like that. So if Jordy walks over these ghost blocks, he'll actually fall in and hit the cage trap and get trapped. And then we'll be able to mess with this build so easily because he'll be locked in here. So let's Let's go find Jordy and lure him over to this trap. All right, let's go find Jordy. This is gonna be so funny. Oh my gosh, okay. Jordy, Jordy, are you there? Hello? Tor, what are you doing over here? Our 15 minutes isn't up. Oh uh, yeah, I know, Jordy, but I actually had something happen to me and I need your help really badly. Tor, I don't have time for this. Get out of here. Please, Jordy, I really need your help. There's a super scary monster and I can only kill the monster if you help me. Fine, whatever, but make it quick. Thank you so so much, Jordy. I just know you're so much stronger and better at fighting monsters than me. That's why I need you. You really think that? Yeah, Jordy, I really think that. Anyways, uh, yep, just come right this way. And, uh, yep, just step over here and- <laughs> Oh my gosh, Tor, oh what are you doing? Oh my gosh, I totally got you, Jordy. You're totally trapped in there. Tor, get back here. Please don't mess with my build. Uh, yeah, no, Jordy, I'm definitely gonna go mess with your build. So, uh, good luck. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my gosh, my plan totally worked. And Jordy is stuck in that trap over there. So, uh, now I can easily mess with his build. And what I actually want to do to mess with Jordy's build is right now it looks super tall, scary, and menacing. So, uh, what if we just turned it into a normal cube to make it way less scary? And what I can actually do to turn this into a normal cube is select this point right here just like that. Then select that point right there. And then if I use the command slash set air just like that, it's gonna make his base super flat. Yeah, that looks so funny. And, uh, we can just fix these slabs, make it come around just like that so that it doesn't look super super bad. And yeah, Jordy's haunted house now as a cube looks way less scary. So now that we messed with Jordy's build, let's go head back to the trap to go check on Jordy. And uh, Jordy, are you ready to be out of your trap? I guess I can let you out now. Oh, huh? What the? Wait a minute. Did Jordy escape? Wait, what? Is Jordy over in his build? Wait, where did Jordy go? Oh no, Jordy probably escaped and is now messing with my build. This is not good. Uh, so uh, let's go check out my build to see if Jordy's messing with it. And oh my gosh, what the heck? Where did all those cobwebs come from? Haha, <laughs> these cobwebs are gonna make his house look so old and bad. Jordy, what the heck are you doing? Oh my gosh, I can literally see you placing those cobwebs. Uh, no you can't. That's not me. Um, Jordy, wait a minute. Adding cobwebs to my base is only gonna make it look more scary. Uh, I guess you're right. That does look pretty scary. Oh my gosh. Gosh, Jordy, you don't know how to ah. break. And what? Wait, what? Where'd you go, Jordy? Oh, okay. You know what? Yeah, get out of here, Jordy. Oh my gosh, that was so embarrassing for Jordy. He tried pranking me and he only made my house scarier. But that was a pretty big fail of me for making it so that Jordy could easily get out of our trap. But uh, we only have a couple more minutes left, so let's finish the rest of my haunted house build. So now that we're back in my build, what we can do is get started on the last stage. And for the very last stage, what we can do is actually dig all the way down here, just like that. Then what we can do is if we use the command slash slash set air just like that, that's gonna make 
like a giant dark room. And this room's gonna be especially scary for Jordy because he is so afraid of the dark. So this is literally perfect. Now we just need to connect this room up top to the second stage, just like this. Then we can put a trap door right here, just like that, that you're gonna fall through. Then once you fall through, we can put a water right there. So when you fall, you stay safe. And then now what we can do in this room with some quartz is build some walls just like this. And then using cheese, we can set that to quartz block just like that. And then now we can make two different entrances just like this on each side. And these entrances are actually gonna be used for a guess the right character challenge. And all the different characters we're gonna use are different characters from super popular horror games. Then with some black wool, we can place these ghost blocks up just like that so that Jordy can't see to the other side. And uh, yeah, that looks so perfect. Perfect. So then Joy's gonna have to choose either to walk through this left side or this right side, just like that. And then what we can actually do is on this right side, just like this, go ahead and make a lava trap so that Jordy chooses the right side, which is actually going to be the wrong side. He'll fall into lava. So now all we need to do is place some glass around this, just like this. And then we can put some lava in there just like that. So now this first stage is almost set up. All we need to do is add some pictures to the front. So now what we can do is on the sign right here, put down which one is from Garden of Ban Ban. Then on each side right here, what we can do is put down the correct painting. So on this right side, we're actually gonna put character one. Let me know in the comments down below if you know what character this is right here. Then over here, what we can do is put down the other art. And this one's gonna be Tomataki and Chamataki. So Jordy should know that Tomataki and Tomataki is from garden a bit bit and go through this side right here and now what we can do is paste this all in right here just like that for the next stage and for this next stage the right side's actually going to be the correct answer so i went ahead and flipped those so now we can go ahead and add our art and for this one we're going to put on the sign which one is from the skibbity toilet universe so then right here, what we can do is put down our art. And this one's actually going to be this character right here, which is actually Imposter from Among Us. And then on this side, we can put down our other artwork, which is going to be the Titan TV, man. Yeah, he's so scary and menacing. That is awesome. So then again, Jordy should know that this is the correct side right here. And then we're going to have one last stage. So now we can do is paste that wall again right here, just like that. And on this one, the same side is going to be the wrong answer. So now we can add our art. And the question for this one's actually going to be, which one is from Rainbow Friends? So then on the incorrect side, what we can actually do is go ahead and put down Freddy Fazbear from Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, that's perfect. And look how much detail is on this thing. That looks so cool. And then on this side over here, what we can do is actually put down Pink Rainbow Friend. And why does Pink Rainbow Friend look like that? He looks so silly. But then again, Jordy should know that this is the correct side and this will take him to the very last part of my build. And so what we can actually do for this very very last part of my build is set this whole floor to lava just like this and now the very last thing we're actually going to build is a lava ice parkour because no parkour scares jordy more than an ice lava parkour because it's so difficult so what we can do is just build out our ice just like that over our lava and we can build the parkour this way just like that then maybe we'll come over here like this then we can make it jump all the way over here then maybe one like this and then now we can just keep it coming this way just like that and that should be the final jump for this lava ice parkour and yeah this looks so hard i can't wait to see if jordy can beat this or not so now all we need to do is make one final room now we're gonna put our golden pig todd in so now what you can do is go right here and put a fence and a fence gate just like that then we can spot our golden pig todd in here so that jordy knows he made it to the end but then there's one last thing i want to add and this last thing is going to actually be a last resort in case i feel like Jordy didn't get scared enough, so we're gonna put a command block right here. Then inside of that command block, I put a super special command that we can use in case I feel like Jordy didn't get scared enough. So if you want to see what this big red panic button does, you're gonna need to watch till the end of the video. But that's literally perfect timing because the timer just ended. So let's head on over to Jordy's side to see his finished build. All right, Jordy, are you ready to show me your finished haunted house build? I'm so ready. My build is actually so oh. good. Oh. Yeah, Jordy, uh, it, it looks so good. Uh, I can't wait to go check out the inside. Yeah, Tor, isn't it so scary? I mean, uh, kinda. I mean, it's kind of just a block, uh, and uh, there's some lanterns, I guess. I guess that's scary, but uh, where do I start to get inside? Uh, this is the start, and it's a maze to get in. Oh, okay, it's a maze. Yeah, this is this is good. Um, all right, 
looks super hard and uh Wow, Jordy, that was such a cool hard maze you did. I mean, you did go the wrong way at first, but anyways, now here's my next part. All right, let's see what do we have next. And oh my gosh, wait, there's this is kind of cool on the inside. You got a lot of books. I guess books are kind of scary. And uh, what is this? For this part of my build, you have to answer a few questions. And if you get it right, you get to live. Oh my gosh, okay, yeah, I definitely don't want to die here. So let's see, what are the questions? What is the scariest thing in Minecraft? Oh my gosh, what is the scariest thing in Minecraft? Okay, we have a couple answers here. Option one is zombies. Zombies are so scary, okay? And then also a creeper. And oh my gosh, I hate creepers because they always sneak up on you. Yeah, that's right. And then after that, we have Tora's face. Wait, what? Ha! Yeah, Tora's face is really scary. No, no, my face is not scary. Look at it, it's beautiful. All right, and the last one is a spider. And a spider, oh my gosh, I hate spiders. Uh, spiders are so weird and creepy. Okay, uh, so what do you think it is? Um, if I had to go with my gut, I'm gonna say spider. All right, here goes nothing, let's see. No, what? No, oh my gosh. Yeah, Tora, got you. All right, Tora, I'll give you one more chance to see if you can get it. Well, spider is definitely the scariest one of all these options. So I think this one is actually a prank answer. And I'm going to go with Tora's face, even though this is definitely incorrect. Let's see. And, uh, yep. Okay, I made it. What the heck, Jordy? That's so mean. I was just joking, Tora, but it is really scary. <laughs> all right, whatever. Let's just do the next question. All right. What's my worst nightmare? <gasps> Your worst nightmare? Okay, let's see. Losing my best friend. Oh, that would be so sweet if that's what it was, Jordy. It actually kind of looks scary right now hiding it. In there that's weird uh let's see what else talking to girls jordy are you scared of talking to girls uh no that's definitely not it okay let's see and elytra parkour jordy you suck at elytra parkour it's always so funny yeah you always make it so hard that's not my fault it's always so funny trying to watch you do it but anyways let's see what else we have tnt pigs blowing me up oh my gosh i forgot about tnt pigs yeah those are really scary too yeah i don't know what happened but one video a pig blew blew me up and it was really really scary that was weird i have no clue how those tnt pigs blew you up that time it definitely wasn't me but anyways i gotta figure out what my answer is and for what's my worst nightmare i think i'm gonna go with uh losing my best friend because it better be this one since you made fun of me so if it's not this one i'm definitely gonna prank you so let's see here we go here goes nothing and uh I oh Oh my gosh, it was right. Wow, I did not think you were actually gonna put that one, Jordy. Thank you. Yeah, Tora, you're my best friend and losing you would suck. Aww. Well, anyways, let's go on to the next part of my build. All right, let's do it. Here we go. And uh, oh, oh my gosh, wait, what is this a graveyard, Jordy? Yeah, this is a really scary graveyard. Graveyards are so scary. But fortunately for you, it's not nighttime, so it's far less scary. Yeah, you're right, Jordy. That is a really good point. It is a lot scarier in a graveyard when it's nighttime, but uh, luckily it's not. So uh, is the next part this ice parkour? That's right. It's ice parkour, and it's actually pretty easy, but... Not for you, because you suck at ice parkour. No, I don't suck at ice parkour. Watch this, Jordy. I'm totally gonna get it first try. Here we go, and uh, here goes nothing. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm slipping and sliding everywhere, and uh, ha ha, Jordy, you fell already. Oh my gosh. You're definitely the one who's bad at ice parkour. Okay, we only have like two more jumps. Here we go, and last jump. Here goes nothing. Oh my gosh, is this a four block jump? I hate four block jumps. Yeah, but I give you a long start, so let's see if you can here do it. Here we go, and uh, uh, oh, what? What? No, I made it, and then I slipped off. Oh, my gosh. Uh. Tori, you're so silly. How did you not make that? All right, whatever. I'm going to channel my inner dream and speed run this whole thing. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this is literally so easy. Okay, here we go. And then, and yeah, I made it. Good job, Tori. You finally did it. So, Jordy, now what do we have next? Now you need to jump into this giant grave. What? Giant grave? Is that lava down there, Jordy? I'm not going to jump down there into lava. Tora, don't worry. Obviously, it's fake lava. Uh, are you sure about that, Jordy? That really does not look like fake lava. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's fake lava. What do you mean? It looks exactly the same. Right, uh, I guess I'll trust you on this one, but here goes nothing, and yeah. Wait, huh? 
What the? Oh my gosh, Shorty, I'm burning up. It was not fake lava. And wait, is that Todd? Yeah. Oh my gosh, please. I might have forgot <gasps> to switch yes, the fake yes, lava yes, with the real yes. lava. All right, Tora. Well, here, I'll teleport you to the end because you did make it, but or I did forget to switch the real lava with fake lava, so that's kind of my fault. Oh my gosh, Jordy, you totally lied to me, and you're such a noob. You forgot to replace it with fake lava. Yeah, I'm sorry, Tora. Whatever, I made it to the end, and here's Todd, which means that I be your build. Let's go. Yeah, you did really good. So, Tora, what do you rate my build? Hmm, I like your build, but it was kind of short, and uh, your house was really boxy, which wasn't very unique, and your lava did burn me, and it was supposed to be fake lava, and you made fun of me, so... What? I'm gonna have to give it a... Five out of ten. Five out of ten? That's so bad, Tora. Yeah, well, that's what you get. Sorry about that. You're being so silly right now. You know what? Fine, 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 Jordy. You're right. I'll give you a little bit better of a score. You get a 5.1. 5.1? That's really good. Thanks so much, Tora. Yeah, Jordy, of course. Well, now it's time to go check out my build. So let's head on over. All right, Jordy. And to check out my build, let's just go all the way over here. And uh, here's my haunted mansion. You've already seen the front of it because you kind of made it better, actually. But uh, I'm excited to show you what's on the inside. Tora, your build looks so plain, but it's really big. It actually is really scary. That's right. So, Jordy, why don't you go ahead and follow me onto the inside? All right. And is this the first time you've ever done a real entrance? That's right. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, Jordy, I totally got you with that creeper jump scare. Oh my gosh, that was so scary. Uh, how did you even do that? I guess you could say I'm just somewhat of a redstone master. But anyways, for the next part, let me go ahead and give you a shrieking device so you oh. can take this and uh, shrink yourself down to get to the next <gasps> part. All right, Tori. All right, Jordy. And now we need to go through this little tunnel to get to the next part of my build. Oh my gosh, how are we fitting in here? This is crazy. Uh, yeah, Jordy, it's because we're so small we can fit through these tiny crevices. Is in a, where did the cockroaches go? Wait, what? Cockroaches? What do you mean by cockroaches? What? Oh, oh, nothing, Jordy. They're, they're cockroaches? I don't know. There's, there's no cockroaches. Anyways, let's just keep on going. Uh, whatever, I guess. And what the heck is this? This is actually a choose the right button room. And uh, if you press the wrong button, uh, you might die. So make sure you press the right button and good luck. How am I ever going to know which one to press? There's so many buttons. That's oh. right, Jordy. It's like a one in like 50 chance of getting it right. So there's no way you ever get this right. Oh. And, uh, nope, that's not it. And this guy died trying to press this button, so maybe it's him. Yeah, he definitely died trying to press that button. What? No, you weren't supposed to press that one. You were supposed to think he died pressing that button, so you were never supposed to press that one. Well, it looks like he didn't make it to the button yet, so... Whatever, Jordy, you bested my button challenge, so let's go to the next stage. Well, Jordy, for this next stage, we actually have a corn maze challenge. So what you need to do is find all four signs so that you know the passcode to escape. But uh, be careful because there might be some traps sprinkled throughout the maze. Tora, this doesn't look like a corn maze to me. Uh, whatever, Jordy. It's the closest thing to corn that we have in Minecraft, so it's made out of hay. But just pretend it's a corn maze, okay? Okay, I guess. I can do that. Let's see it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You totally just stumbled across one of the traps, Jordy. That's right. There are turrets throughout this corn maze, so you got to be super careful. And what is this? Four? That's right. That is the first sign. So only a couple more to be found. Oh my gosh, there's a turret right there. Oh no. Oh my gosh, oh, it's totally lighting you up. And here's another code. 30? What does that mean? Okay, you got two numbers and watch out for that turret, Jordy. Let's see. Oh my gosh, let's see. And oh. uh, nope, that's not the right way. And oh my gosh, Jordy, you totally <laughs> died. No! Well, let me go ahead and teleport you back to the front of the maze just like that. And now you're going to find the other two signs. Maybe something's over here and a 200. I guess that's another code. Oh, Jordy, you found the third sign. All right, there's only one more. Let's see. All oh, right, are you going to find be this it? way, right? Nah, Jordy, it's probably not this way. I wouldn't keep going this way if I were you. It's definitely not this way. <laughs> and, uh, yep, that's a turret right there. Watch out. Uh-oh, you better run quicker. He's going to kill you. Uh-oh, okay, let's see. No, it's another turret. Oh, wow, you really dodged that one, Jordy. Good job. And, uh, oh. Oh my gosh, Jordy. What? Nothing, Jordy. Nothing. You didn't walk right next to the sign and not see it. <laughs> 
Oh, wait, no, don't go that way. What? What are you doing? Oh, 1,000. That's the very last sign for the code. So, Jordy, what do you think the code is? Well, if I add all the numbers together, then it equals 1,234, which would be the code 1234. <gasps> uh, that's probably not what the code is. I don't even know how you came to that conclusion, but I guess there's only one way to find out if that's the correct code or not. So go ahead and get to the door. Let's see if you can do it. Oh, my gosh. And, oh, my gosh, what? How did you get past that turret and put in the code quick enough to not die? That was crazy. I don't know how I did that, but I only have one heart left. Uh-oh, Jordy. Well, you better be super careful in this very next part or else you will die. So go ahead and jump down to the very last level. Oh, okay. That was a really far drop. That was really scary. And for this next stage, Jordy, we actually have a horror game characters quiz. So let's take a look at the sign and see what your first question is. And the very first question is, which one of these characters is from Garden of Ban Ban? Uh, okay. So over here, we have a turtle looking character. And I know we built in one of our Garden of Ban Ban videos. So I think this is the Garden of Ban Ban character. That's right, Jordy. You did build Chalatagi Talatagi in one of our build battle videos. So is that your final guess? Yeah, I'm gonna choose this one. All right, and correct, Jordan. You actually got that one right. Good job. That one was way too easy. All right, Jordy. Well, let's see. You still have two more questions left, so maybe the rest aren't going to be so easy. And this one's actually, which one is from the Skibbity Toilet Universe? All right, well, this one's really hard, and I think this one's a trick question, because I think this picture's supposed to look like Among Us, but it doesn't look exactly like the Among Us. So it has to be this one, right? Are you sure, Jordy? I mean, do you not want to come look at this one over here? Well, this one's too scary. I don't want to get too close. Uh, so I think I'm going to guess this one right here. Let's see. And uh, no, Jordy, obviously that one is not from Scabini Toilet. That's just a normal uh, imposter from Among Us. I really thought it was a trick question, Tora. Yeah, you kind of tricked yourself, Jordy, but that means there's only one option left. So let's go ahead and head on through this side for the last question. All right, and for the last one is, which one is from Rainbow Friends? That's right, Jordy. Which one of these two characters is from the game Rainbow Friends? Wait a minute. This guy is pink like my favorite color. Oh my gosh, he is pink like your favorite color, Jordy. And over here, this is Freddy Fosbear from Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, You're right, Jordy. He is from Five Nights at Freddy's. So uh, which one do you think it is? So this one has to be the Rainbow Friend. All right, uh, Jordy. I guess if that's your guess, go ahead and head through. All right, here goes nothing. Three two, one. And, and yes, you got it right. Good job, Jordy. Well, now there's one last thing left, and I know it's the Minecraft parkour you fear the most, and that's an ice lava parkour. Ice and lava? That is so dangerous and so scary. And not only that, but we're also in the dark. Well, Jordy, this is the very last fear that you're gonna have to overcome, so let's see if you can do it to get to the very end. I don't know if I can do it, but I guess I'll try. I believe in you. You got this. Go ahead whenever you're ready. And okay, you did make the first jump. That's good. All right. Uh, you're actually doing really good so far, Jordy. Nice. Oh, gosh. And uh, if you're really good, you could actually skip that jump right there. Okay, well, I'm not good. Um, all right, Jordy. Well, good job. You're making it really far. Or did you just no, fall? No, I didn't fall. I didn't, you didn't see anything. Just focus on the parkour. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. And you only have like two more jumps, Jordy. Are you going to be able to make it? Oh, my gosh. All right. I think I can. You told you totally got this, Jordy. I believe in you. Ah! Oh my gosh, Jordy. You totally just fell. Oh, wow. That is so embarrassing. But you know what? You got so close. So I'll teleport you to this checkpoint. All right, Jordy. You got this. I believe in you. Let's see. Here goes nothing. Right. Come on. Let's see if I can actually do it. You got it. And yes, you made it. Good job, Jordy. Oh my gosh. That was so cool. So go ahead and say hello to Todd. Hey, Todd. Todd, how's it going? Oh, he loves me. Well, Jordy, congratulations. You made it to the end of my build. So, uh, won't you rate it out of 10? Well, your build was really good and really long, and it was really scary. So, I'm gonna have to give it, like, a 7 out of 10. A 7 out of 10, Jordy? What? That's so low. But, uh, actually, I might have something that might bring my score to a 10 out of 10. So, uh, just stand right there in a hua. Ah, uh, explosions. I hate explosions. They're so scary. This is a 10 out of 10. Uh, this is definitely a 10 out of 10. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe and hit one of the videos on the screen if you want to see more.